I'm Steve Travato, and here's an Albert King style rhythm guitar part. Let's hear what it sounds like. Two, three, four. <laughs> So this is based on Albert King's classic song, Cross Cut Saw, which is called a mambo feel or a rumba feel. I call it a mambo feel. So it's in the key of G, and it's not a swing, it's straight eights. So what I'm doing here is being as I'm in the key of G, I need to play a rhythm part that fills in where other parts aren't. In other words, I need to find a part that's in the pocket. So during the first three beats, I found something that's in there where I can play and I'm not stepping on anything else. It's clear and it adds and it, and it picks up because I'm playing it so in the pocket, it picks up the momentum of the rhythm section so it, sounds, so it makes it sound even stronger. So what I'm doing is I'm playing a little chord here, take it, taken from the big G bar chord, I'm just going to play the G chord on strings 4, 3, and 2. Now I'm going to make it from there, I'm going to make it a 7th chord by dropping the G to F on the 4th string using a bar. Now, to add the movement within the chord, I'm going to raise the B to C so it becomes a G7 sus chord. And then I resolve it. So I'm getting this sound. Then what I do when I count off the tune, I'm going to play one, two, three, four. So I play the sus chord three times, and then I resolve it and play the G seventh once. Now, I'll do the same thing over the C chord by moving up to the eighth position. And then, of course, the G chord. And finally, over the D chord, I'll move up to the tenth position and do exactly the same thing. Now, you might notice there's a couple things that, I, that I'm doing here that are variations that I think that uh, you might be interested in here. The first thing is, it's hard to grab a rhythm part like that out of the air without any kind of setup for it. So, you're, so I keep my hand moving, into the, moving in time to the music by bouncing it on the strings a little bit. So I'm playing like this, three, four. It helps me mark the time a little bit better and not get ahead or behind. And then the other thing is that I think might be interesting is it sounds better to me when I do it with my fingers because what you want is being it's basically a piano part, you want all the strings to sound at the same time without having a, to, to sound like they're being strung across. If I go, it sounds a little more guitaristic, whereas if I play with my fingers, Using my thumb, index, and middle finger, I can pluck the, thring, the strings simultaneously and I get more of a clustered piano feel. And so, and in order to get the strings to not ring through and sound muddy, watch, I'm bouncing my left hand. In other words, I push the chord down, I, I fret the chord, and between every chord, I loosen my grip to deaden the strings. plucking with my right hand. So now let's hear what the whole thing sounds like. Two, three, four.
So there you have it. There's a lesson in Albert King style rhythm guitar. A short lesson, but there's a lot of things you can learn by doing this. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.